All right, so I have gotten the question, hey, Ian, how do you organize your clients? How do you keep things organized and know where everything's going on and what you're doing? Easiest way is I like to use free tools because free tools are always the best tools, um, at least to start with until you have gone um, you know, further in your business venture. So the easiest platform that I use is going to be the Google Drive. I love Google Drive. I think Google Drive is amazing. Um, it's a completely free resource depending on how much space, obviously, you're going to be utilizing. For me specifically, um, I use the free version. You get two terabytes of storage, which is a ton. So if you fill that up immediately, then wow, you have a lot to you have a lot going on here. Um, for those with teams, obviously, you may need to make adjustments. So let's talk about the way that I organize it. So I like to have about three different folders. One is specifically for my clients, and then I will label it by each company I'm working with. And each client file may have a few different um, folders inside of it. And as I continue to work with that specific client, we will add more folders or delete more folders or adjust things as needed based on what their overall goal is. So we have a client folder. We have an onboarding process um, folder as well. So this right here is going to be a client questionnaire. Um, it, so when we are on the discovery call or the consultation call, I have a list of questions that I do want to go over with my client or, you know, a potential client to see if we're going to be a good fit to make sure I'm understand their overall goal and where they see themselves. So I won't open that because that's not what we're discussing right now. And then I have one for personal documents. So obviously that's going to be, you know, like my resumes, my portfolios, um, maybe some affiliate things I've signed up for and want to keep that separate. So let's look at a client folder here. So here's a few clients I work with. Obviously, I treat myself as well as my own client so I can keep things separated, understand what I'm posting. So let's give you guys an example. This is talking with Ange. Um... This is what I was originally going to name my social media management company, but now I just decided to kind of stick with my name because I liked it better. <laughs> um, but let's see, this is how I have it separated. So I like to break it down by each month. So this is all for the year 2023. For each month, what I will do is I am a little, I have to do a little bit of tweaking to this, but I like to go ahead and list everything that we're working on with that specific month. I like to label it with the date and what this exact document is. So I like to post exactly what I post it with on social and I like to put it into a PDF. So here's an example of a post I used. Um, I have all of the notes that pertain to what was going on in that particular slide. And then I have a separate folder um, where I can update it via Canva and I will upload what type of platform was it posted on, what type of content was it, was it a reel, was it just a, a post, you know. So I try to keep that super specific so I know what I'm posting, why I'm posting it, where it got posted to, what type of format, so then I can kind of track that and see what's going on. So we have it broken down by each month, um, and then I'll put it in a PDF because a lot of the times if you're going to be doing a lot of copying and pasting to some of these sites, they will not transpire over the way you think it's going to and it will like delete your numbers if it's not in a pdf form if you're copying it but anyhow so then i do some blogging work as well so maybe these might be some blog posts um or some images for blog posts that i might be working on documents this is going to be oops, hold on. documents is going to be some notes uh perhaps maybe that go with this particular client or uh, strategy, the content strategy usually is going to be listed here. Um, and then we have like to be posted. So I kind of have a few different things. So you can see this is all to be posted and to be turned into different pieces of content. So ideally, I like to post across Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, I try to post across multiple different platforms each day, so I'm not just putting my eggs in one basket and hoping and praying for success. So, and then that is kind of what this looks like. I don't think my everyday life with Ange, see this one, I don't, I don't have anything in this. Um, but this is just a general idea of how things are kind of laid out. I have, you know, checklists in place that I like to utilize to make sure that I'm staying on track with where I need to be. Like, I have a few of these right now, but somehow or another, 
just did not get moved to where they're supposed to be. So these ones right here, I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to move these to the corresponding folders they need to be in. So you'll just click on my drive. You click on what client it's for. And you click on what folder you're going to be pasting it in or moving it to. For me, this is probably going to go into to be posted. We're just going to move these here because I don't, I don't particularly want these here. Um, I like to keep everything, like I said, super organized because it bugs me if I have all the stuff all over the place and I'm like searching for things. So I've, that's one thing I've gotten much better at doing. I don't particularly like anything down here. So I try to keep it organized. That was a perfect example of now I know, hey, if I need to find my resume, I know it, bam, it's right here under my personal documents. It's separate from my clients. It's separate from everything else. So that's just an example of how I have things laid out specifically on Google Drive. That's not including Canva or any of the other tools that I utilize um, for client needs. So I hope that's helpful. If you guys need to see more in-depth videos or you want to see, hey, Ange, can you show me an example of what your onboarding process looks like? Do you have a document? Do you have a template you can share with me? I do have those things readily accessible. Um, it's just a matter of just putting together a video and that's not that challenging.